Hey guys, welcome back to another Xcode 4 tutorial, and today we're going to be going over gesture panning, and uh, well, we'll get into some of the other gesture recognizers in the future, but if you don't know what a gesture recognizer is, it's basically, you know, everyone's used it, maybe they just don't know what it's called, but uh, let's say you zoom in on your iPhone or iPad, well that's a gesture, that's a recognizer that, uh, you know, a touch, and then you push, you pinch, or you pan, or something like that, and that's uh, essentially what we're going to be going over. So, like we've got on the simulator here, we basically got a simple image put into an image view, and then we have a gesture called a pan that allows you to move this, this uh, image view around on the screen and then place it wherever. So that's what we're going to go over today, is kind of the basics of the pan. So let's drop out of the simulator. We're going to create a new project. So if you go to your single view application and you just start a new project, that'll work. So we'll go with uh, Gesture Toot. We'll create that. Save it wherever you'd like. Well, hold on a second. Maybe this is like my sixth or something like that. All right. So the, as that loads, you know, in the previous tutorials, we've been doing some stuff in the iPad. I'm gonna flip over and do iPhone just so you know the screen isn't you know so big and we can just work with smaller objects and we'll get back you know they pretty much work the same but uh, we'll be using the iPhone storyboard here and that's actually the first place we're gonna drop into is the storyboard of the iPhone and as you go to your first view controller whatever pops up on the screen that's where we're gonna be working and we're gonna throw a simple image view from our objects. Now if you can't find the objects, go up here to the view and toggle on and off the utilities and then scroll down through your objects and find the image view. Place a simple image view anywhere on the screen. I'm gonna make ours, you know, about that size or so. And uh, and then, oh yeah, we need an image. So, you know, download something, put, put a simple JPEG or PNG, make sure it's not too large but uh, place a, an image in the supporting files. Make sure you've got your t copy items in the destination folder correct and uh, click finish on that. So now that you've got your image stored, go to your image view and go up to the attributes on the top right and we're gonna change the image to the image that you selected. And I'm gonna go down to mode and put uh, aspect, er, sorry, aspect fit. Just make sure the image looks good in there. All right. So once you've got your image in an image view controller or view on the screen, we're going to add the gesture recognizer now. So if you continue down through the objects, you will see these little blue, I don't know, they kind of look like shooting stars or comets of some sort, but uh, really cool looking things right there. That's what we're going to be using, and specifically the pan gesture recognizer. So we're going to take that just similar to an object and drop it on to the other object that we want to apply it to. You know, keep take note that uh, if we had two different images and uh, we only wanted one of them, you know, we can just select the one. Or we could throw multiple, you know, we could have it associated to multiple images if you want to move both of them around. So now we've got it, uh, we've dropped it there, and as you note, um, it's added to the bar here, so it keeps it nice and clean and concise for us moving forward. Now what we're going to do is we're going to drop into the viewcontroller.h file off to the right. And this is where we're going to set up our IB action for our uh, pan control, our pan gesture recognizer. So IB action, our selector, we're just going to call this control pan. And then we're going to take out all this filled in stuff that uh, already set up for us. And we're going to put in our UI pan gesture recognizer. And then we're going to set that to our recognizer. And we are good to go as far as setting up the action. Now we have to take this code <clears throat> and uh, don't select the semicolon at the end, but I'm going to select everything else. I'm going to copy that. And then we're going to go to viewcontroller.m. <clears throat> and just below the implementation there, give yourself a little bit of room. And we're going to paste in that IB action statement there. And then we're going to open up some brackets, and this is where we're going to basically write when we have the object on the screen and we touch it and we drag it somewhere else, we want those calculations to be programmatically stored. And uh, basically, 
as you as you drag it you're gonna take the points at which it was and the points of where it's going add those together and that's gonna be the new new points um, where the image is gonna be placed so with all that said you know if that doesn't make any sense just copy the code for now and uh, and we'll move on but we're gonna put CG point translation equals recognizer translation in view and then self dot view followed up with the square bracket semicolon <laughs> pop down to the next line and then we're gonna put recognizer dot view dot center is equal to CG point make and then this is where we're gonna state um, the recognizer dot view dot center dot X plus our translation dot X it's going to be equal to our recognizer dot view dot center dot Y plus our translation dot Y at the end put your semicolon to close that off and then we have one final thing here with recognizer set translation CG point make and then we're gonna set that zero oops there we go it's, wow I can't type tonight zero zero and then we're gonna take out this Y here and it's just gonna be in view and in view self dot view all right, so it looks, I think we've got everything in there. Set translation CG point zero zero in view self view. Okay, so that's what it's that's what it's going to be about. And you know, quite honestly, you don't have to know what all that code means. You know, that'll come as it uh, as you move around the corner and you learn the recognizers and some of the other code behind it. So don't worry if if that doesn't all make sense to you. Basically, like I said, is it's basically taking the points that the image was and adding them to the where it's going and that's your new location for that image so now the one last thing that we've got to do is we've got to hook up our control pan action so if you go to the iPhone storyboard and just click your view controller here and then go over here to your uh, your connections inspector you'll see the action that the control pan action that we established we have to set it up to that gesture so if you go down to the bottom and drag it down to the pan gesture recognizer, we've hooked it up to the pan gesture. And the very last thing that we have to do is select the image. And if you go to the attributes, you'll see an interaction. And make sure that the user interaction has been enabled in there. Otherwise, it won't allow us, even though we have the code behind it, it won't allow us to move that image around on the screen. So with all that said, let's run it. Let's make sure it works. All right, so now that it's on screen, move it around, make sure it works, and uh, you guys are set. You guys are professional pan gesture recognizer uh, programmers. Anyways, hopefully that helps you with some of the just the basics on the recognizers, gestures, all that stuff. So we'll catch you guys in the next tutorial.